get your lighters out and your devil horns on because we are at the premier of stadium anthems at Arena Cine Lounge. The cast and crew are about to arrive, so let's go check it out. If we were going to fabricate a band, we'd need huge pop songs. Stadium anthems. When writing something meaningful, use very few words. When it's disposable, use as many words as you like. I am offering you a job right now. I'm taking that record label job, and you're coming with me. Step two, record labels need guitar players, especially now. I think that it portrays the music industry pretty accurately in that the heart and soul of music has kind of been taken out of um, the creation of music because of the technological age. Even though many people make a lot of really great music, it's all about art. So I think the movie's just about how art really triumphs over money making in the musical industry. Music industry satire. Um, a series of Gen X males are struggling with ownership of a record label, which is obviously very common in the internet age. They're also extremely antiquated in terms of their uh, social habits. Like many of us Gen X males, we're having to make a big adjustment in today's um, very changing world. And so these guys are complete heathens and, um, and uh, from them um, a series of strong women emerge and um, find a solution for uh, what ails the phone. What ails the record label? I'm a, I'm the rock star. I kind of made the company because I made the money. You know, my character had a choice early on to either be Iggy Pop or Tommy Lee, and he chose Tommy Lee. He made a lot of money. A quiet life, basically. Yeah, yeah a quiet life. At the '82 US Festival, I saw the Ramones play to 100,000, all-time gig. But all the gals wore clothes. In 83, I saw a piss load of cock rockers play to 400,000, hair sprayed, head banging skeezers all hot to trot. In America, we call it a business opportunity. I mean, it's not really my industry, but there's similar things going on in film, you know? And so the idea of, yeah, the commodification of art and just, there's so many ideas there that are interesting, um, you know, about whether, you know, how do you pay artists? Um, how as an artist do you create art? Do you think, you have to think about the audience. Should you never think about the audience? At what point have you sold out when you thought about the audience too much? Um, you know, is there just a difference between two types of things? There's entertainment and there's art, and they don't have to necessarily be evaluated the same way. All these topics are in there, and uh, and I think that they're all going on inside my character at least. You know, both those things. He wants to make money, you know, and he's now used to making a lot of money. So, but. But still, there's this part of him that the thing that he loved about it, he still wants to get back to that, which is the art of it. Okay, so what made me want to come out tonight is my friend Angie Seegers ah, told yeah. me about this movie. And she said, Angelo, you got to see this movie. It's like a, a, a mockumentary. It's on the music business like like um, uh, uh, Spinal Tap. Yeah. And so I love me some Spinal Tap. And so uh, I am in the music business, and it is a spoof in real life. So I'm pretty sure if it's a spoof in real life, then if, the, if they made it a spoof in the movie, man, it must be over the top. I mean, an iconic actor as yourself, what's it like? I think you're, we both, we were both very excited to see you. Iconic. You are iconic. You are iconic. What's it like being, um, seeing films at the Arena Cine Lounge that celebrates indie filmmaking? Uh, I was just telling uh, the man running Nick there, I said, we, we met like 20 years ago, and I, I said, I don't know about this, you know, I said, I said, it's so great that you're doing this. I said, I'm going to come out here now. It's, I mean, it's the heart, so I mean, it's the opportunity for people to do things. You know, people say, oh, we support indie films. Eh, hey, you know, come on. You know, so like, seeing your film um, at Arena Cine Lounge, which celebrates indie filmmaker, right, in the middle of Hollywood. This right? is perfect. Yeah. You can't be, you can't be the energy outside, you can't be the energy inside, I mean, it, any rights and done it well. I've been at a few premieres where they just drop the ball, and this has just been wonderful. I have a friend of mine that was in another movie with me is here, and and uh, they're just you guys are just doing a great job. You just heard from the cast and crew of this amazing rock and roll indie. 
And remember, for everything independent film, check out Arena Cine Lounge Hollywood. I'm Jen Ortega, and I'll catch you next time. It never dawned on me that they'd get anything together, much less what it was. I knew right then it would change everything. If we could get anyone to hear it.